Hi, it's Amber. Let's go over defining a spool. So first we're going to go to our prefabrication panel within our Evolve Electrical. There's going to be similar features within both Evolve Electrical and Evolve Mechanical. So first we're going to go to our define spool. So we have our starting spool name. I'm going to do holiday spool 01. We do have dynamic naming. So that is something that you can also utilize. We do have create sheets on finish. So if I had that selected, I can choose my sheet title block here and also a sheet title block type if need be. You also can specify if you want to open your created sheets as well. In this situation, I'm going to uncheck this. I currently just want them to be defined. So let's hit OK. And when it comes to defining your spools, it's just defining any of the elements that you want to be within your drawing itself. So I'm going to select this area here, press finish, and keep going on from there. You're going to see when I'm selecting a next grouping, I'm not going to be able to select anything that was previously defined within a spool. So let's select that next group, press finish, select my next group, press finish. I'm going to do this in 10 foot intervals, but you can specify whatever makes sense to you and your company needs. And you can see you can do this in 2D or 3D as well. So now that I've defined a good amount of my run, I'm going to exit out of my command and you can see all of my elements were defined. I'm going to go into my colorizer command and refresh my colorizer rules. So I'm going to go to my subgroup spool and I'm going to refresh current view. Now that I have all of my elements to define to the spool that I need in them to be, you have a few options of what you can do. You can modify the spool after the fact if need be. You can also come in here and define a package. So defining package allows you to select multiple spools or elements that have not been spooled and define more of like a spool map. So you can definitely utilize that feature or you could definitely come into your prefab manager, view all of your defined spools and be able to select some of them, all of them, anything in between and generate your sheets after the fact as well. Once you've defined your sheets, I can easily come in here and say open selected sheets. And then you're going to see we will have a default sheet set up or a cut list, a build material, a 3D and some other views as well here that you can easily just play Tetris and get it to be exactly what you would need. On the electrical side, after the fact of defining your spool and generating your sheets, then you can go back and add some dimensions and tags if need be. You can modify your title block as well. So you can get everything you need when it comes to your schedules as well. So that is today's video on defining your spool with a little bit of a holiday theme to it. I hope you're enjoying the series and follow along throughout this month for some more holiday inspired videos from Evolve. Thank you.